When BMRU launched the Global Center of Excellence program, our goal was to identify health systems that already are exemplars of antimicrobial stewardship, sites that acknowledge the importance of diagnostics in the fight against antimicrobial resistance. We look for sites that have that passion and that also use a portion of the BMRU portfolio already and that are interested and uh, willing to engage in continued scientific engagement and research activities to really serve as exemplars for the industry on what GREAT looks like when it comes to antimicrobial stewardship. I think the recognition of our lab as a center of excellence by BMRU is a recognition of the quality of the lab, but it's also a recognition of the relationship that we've developed with our partners in industry over the last uh, couple of decades. You know, we work closely with them in providing feedback on diagnostic testing, on algorithms, and I think that it, it, this to me is the evolution, the next stage of a collaborative relationship to advance healthcare by working together. I think this, you know, this, uh, this relationship really is going to allow us to continue to improve and to be involved in the innovation of up and coming testing modalities, platforms. Um, it allows us to leverage the strengths of both of us, you know, both sides of the coin so that we can really work to, you know, to innovate the diagnostic procedures moving forward. One challenge that I feel will always be on our horizon is the need for faster turnaround time. And I think that's the imperative behind more and more automation, as well as implementation of digital solutions. And in the long term, this will make our care timely as well as cost effective. Making rapid decisions on effective antimicrobials is critical uh, for both the patient and also for the community. Healthcare environments are really revolving doors where inpatients, ambulatory patients, patients going back home or patients going to long-term care facilities and the resistance patterns can travel in all of those environments and they are important to uh, have a hold on. How fast can we get a result out? If you can get somebody on the appropriate de-escalated or the appropriate treatment for a bloodstream infection two, three hours earlier, that's that's great. That's going to have a much better outcome for that patient than, than not being on, you know, directed drugs and being on broad spectrums, which can cause any number of downstream problems. I think the longer range challenge for us is going to be how does the laboratory fit into the world of value-based care? What is the piece of the pie that the laboratory uh, receives in order to be able to continue to do the things we do and to uh, reinvest in ourselves uh, again and again and again? BioMariU offers an end-to-end -end diagnostic and IT solution that enables our customers to advance antimicrobial stewardship and clearly manage antimicrobial resistance. We are uniquely positioned to enable our customers to foster leading edge innovation and technology that ultimately drives better patient outcomes. If you think about from the perspective of a frontline clinician, they order several tests during the day and they get that many results. What we need to do is to make the right thing to do the easiest thing to do. So we put a lot of work into developing an AMS framework here at Henry Ford. And again, it's a collaborative partnership between the laboratory, between our pharmacy department. So we have an, an active and aggressive infectious disease pharmacy team. We have infectious diseases that partners with them. And between that trifecta, we bring in other stakeholders. I think for many organizations, we are moving from a silo-based thinking to a systems-based thinking, and that is positive it will only make us more efficient and will improve patient care across the spectrum. And I look forward to that future.